A lot of smoke on them fire effects. Wow. Wow. Okay. It was going well up until then. Okay guys, welcome to part two of my brother's A Tale of Two Sons uh, playthrough. And this time we are going to be continuing on from where we left off, which I believe is the start of chapter two. Which works out quite well. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we're doing this one. Uh, if you missed the first um, part, basically, um, the dad was has taken ill. I think the mother the mother drowned, and the sons are off looking for some sort of tree or something, um, and they are going to. That's cool, actually, yeah, this environment looks pretty cool. Um, and they are looking for a tree or something which is meant to have the antidote to the illness that their dad has. That's why I picked up from it. If that's wrong, then my apologies. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, big Brother is left and Right Brother is right stick and trigger almost died that was okay. um, so yeah let's just carry on from where we were last time which was we oh yeah we got helped by a like a mushroom troll or something who carried us through to this area um, which I believe is chapter 2 and I was looking, there's seven chapters and an epilogue, and also I missed out on an achievement, because I was looking through the achievements and one of them is but a black sheep, and we had that whole like ash pit which we used on the, the rabbit, which got us another achievement, and I think, I'm, assu I'm assuming, unless there's loads of sheep in this game, I'm assuming that we were supposed to pick up the sheep and put it in the, the ash pit, but like I said last time... Um, I do go back through and like get the achievements afterwards, but I like to just like play it through like as natural as possible, just like my first time playing stuff, which is probably why everything sucks so much. But um, yeah, I I just like to play stuff as I am experiencing it, because. That's the point, really, you know? So, a lot of games I, I like to play and not know much about at all. Um, okay, so what I should do here is probably go down this way, hopefully. And then just push back if they'll squeeze through, which I do, okay. So, yeah, so this one didn't even know it was, um, like, dual stick uh, oriented or based, rather. Um, so, yeah, so far I'm, I'm digging it. Okay, okay, so we go through, and then we swap to Little Brother. Okay, cool. So, I'm not actually sure where we're going to take this. I'm guessing just down here. Maybe plug up this, um, cog. And that should hopefully lead us to the next area, but we'll see. Over the top, which it does. Okay, that that should that should be it. There we go. Great. Oh yeah, and we can turn the camera with the uh, right and left bumpers now. Okay, yeah, I need to swap them over. Can you, I just get confused when I have them on the on the wrong side. So anyway, I hope your day is going well. Whatever you've been doing, if it's like one in the morning or. Just come home from work, school, whatever. Right now it's 2.09 here. Oh, also, um, all right, let's, what do I do with this? Right, it's pointing. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, there we go. And... Left. Oh, oh, okay. And then I'm assuming we take it over to the other side. So yeah, I slightly um, boosted up the settings on the, the game capture uh, device thing. So it should look a tiny bit better. I'm worried that it'll like just completely mess... That was weird. I'm worried that it'll like, completely mess it up and it'll be all stuttery because I've had that happen before as well. Um, but hopefully it works. So yeah, if it looks a tiny bit better, that's why. If it looks exactly the same, then that's probably just because... <laughs> it's just not that great in the first place. Okay, so... Oh, okay. We do the old... I was thinking we have to use that wheel again, but that wouldn't make sense, because I would just take them down there and they'd get crushed. So, do we not have a, a rope or anything for him to... push down this time? We have a chain. Okay, missed the chain. Maybe I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna press right trigger when I jump or something. Yep, okay there we go. Ah, oh okay, okay, got you. So I'm gonna stop that and then he's gonna hop on. Uh, oh okay, we don't even need the stairs. So you hold on. Good lad, there we go. And now big bro can apparently very slowly climb up this wheel. So yeah, if you didn't see the, the first part, this is pretty much like how it goes. It's like a, a puzzle, whatever. Oh, these look like more trolls. Hopefully these ones are nice as well. Okay, so we can either go forward or we can go right. But the right's got the fish, so I want to check that out because that just looks like a, a cool little area. Can we interact with them? No, but we can splash ourselves. Yeah, I like how uh, the big one is um, having to like be all sophisticated and grown up, and the younger one d does what he wants, basically. And he was a bit of a prick in the last one as well. Oh, also, um, another bench. That's not what I was going to say. I forgot what I was going to say already. Okay, never mind. Up here. And the music's getting a bit more ominous, that's so not entirely comforting. So yeah, you go over there, and then you go here. And then... Both of you can... Hop on. Alright, here we go. And move the camera so I can see. Alright, he looks like he's over there, good. The other thing to keep track of is which is which, and try to appropriately do the buttons and not mess it up so that one of them goes falling to his death. Which is pretty, um. What's going on here? Okay, so he has to go on. He has to open that for him. He's quick with can get on that one. Yeah, good. And then... Drop, and then you... Okay, simple. See, simple, but still enjoyable. It's not like... So simple that it loses any... It's not boring, so far at least. I guess we'll have to see how it goes. Might not be so uh, chipper about it in a few chapters' time. And the camera does what you want it to as well. Like, it's not one of those games where the camera kind of 
is another hurdle to go over. This one's pretty simple. Makes. Hang on, actually, we should. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now here's pressure, because I've got to actually make sure it. But, okay, good. I don't want to go too early. You know, some... well, why is there like random. Uh... Like gates there anyway. Whoa, that was close. So hopefully, oh, okay. So you push this over. Or oh, pull it. There we go. Hopefully, you don't hook him in the face. Human fishing wouldn't be so much of a good idea right now. Nice use of the shadow to show you where he is. That's also really helpful. They've got the shadow and they've got the um, little coloured outline silhouette thing, which is very useful. So, so far, so good. I'm still waiting for a puzzle that's just going to absolutely like, stump me. Because, um, what's the word? Common sense and logistics are not my strong suit. So is this another hold up and let go and hold? Yep, it is, okay. And again, and now we go left, I'm assuming. And, okay, so hopefully they'll jump on their own. Let's see. Oh, okay. Good. You keep going along. And you, good. So there you have to let go of the direction stick and then hold the right trick, like the action button basically. I wonder what these hooks are even meant to transport. Watch. Well, maybe this is one of them games that's going to have like a sinister undertone. And it turns out it's for like humans, for the the trolls. It's like their kebab conveyor belt or some shit. Okay, good. I guess we're doing this again. So aim, let go, hold. Good. That was tighter than I wanted it to be. And then good. So now, okay, you're gonna go there. And so now you can come across. It doesn't seem that complicated, but I'm, I just need to take my time to make sure I don't completely cock it up. Which is why I just need to take a minute to... Am I moving this? Is it... Okay, it's going on. Sorry. I'm still holding them down. It looks like a cutscene, so I don't feel like I don't have to, but I'm just going to keep them held down just to make sure. Reminds me of, um, I don't know if any of you played uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for PlayStation 1. Uh, there's like a segment now we have to go to Gringotts. Um, during a bit we go to Diagon Alley. And you have like a little um, roller coaster uh, track thing and you have to collect gems and uh, coins and all that kind of stuff. Also there's one that used to really piss me off which was you had to collect a, uh, collect a peacock feather uh, out of Ollivander's and that was a bit gnarly or frustrating. So there's a woman trapped in a cage Shrug. Okay, so we're meant to. Right, can we pull this lever? Actually, let's do that. And she's got a either her husband. Okay, big boy has to come across to this. And what does that do? Okay, so we can't open it because there's padlock, which means that we need a key. Okay, yeah, we just saw it. What am I doing? <laughs> 
We just saw it on his back. So send the little guy through because he's small. And then avoid the bones, I'm guessing. Camera not being too nice to me right now. Here we go. Now what? That's the question. Okay, he just reaches through. Simple enough, okay. Oh, crap. It's lucky that that jangling didn't uh, disturb him. Here we go. And hopefully. And now, Big Brother can go and open the door with the leather. And hopefully she won't eat us. And she'll be nice to us because we were nice. And she'll act like a mushroom troll from the last one and help us get to some areas. Or just bugger off and leave us behind. Oh dear. So did he see us or... Right, I'm definitely going to die here because I just suck at these kind of things. Right, okay, I'm just trying to... Right, we can't climb a statue, which means that we just need to stay out of the way. Maybe... Okay, that this is not a good camera angle. I'm thinking maybe... Is he just going to go? Maybe we're going to have to lure him into... the cage. I'm just trying to think how we would do that. Because maybe we can go and pick up that padlock. Or maybe we're gonna use him to climb up to the to that platform there. I think I'll just wait out a bit and look at his um walking pattern basically. Alright, here he comes. so you can distract him. Still trying to work out what good that is. Hey! Hopefully he's stupid and gets in the cage. To play it really dangerous and get him in the cage and then run. Oh, that's genius. That was an accident. I was trying to run around him. Hey! We can just walk through the bars. Hey! Great, that's fantastic. I'm lucky that I accidentally managed that, otherwise, I would have had no idea what to do. So either her panel's for us to trap him, or because we survived her death trap that she set for us, she's like, well fine, I guess you can come along. I'm gonna give her the benefit hey, of the doubt hey. and say that she wanted us to help her. Okay, again, this platform with her. Now. We're gonna hop down. Right, we can't drop. Maybe we can go up to her and do something. Da. 
Oh, there's stairs. Okay, what an idiot. <sighs> right, get the stairs. Which will take us to this. Okay, we just gotta do the usual. Okay, yeah, get them on the right side again. So, but if I... Okay, can we hop across then? It just seems strange that they would add in that, um, that extra little curve if you don't need it. Or maybe I'm going to push it along to the right. And then they can jump. And actually, no, surely they wouldn't be able to jump that Because obviously we're going to help her across. So. Alright, if we can. Right, let's throw out our thumbsticks here. Alright, here we go. Atta! Got a hold of it. Now, if we put it back. Okay, and then maybe we're going to put her across and then we go after. Once she's got off, that might make sense. Go on, turn. How do I. Oh, there we go. Okay, now you get off. Great. And then we can. Uh, there we go. So for the turning, you pull back on the one that you want to go backwards, obviously you go forwards on the one that you want to go forwards. And then that allows them to pivot. Now we can hop across. A lot of smoke on them fire effects. Wow, wow. Okay. It was going well up until then. Oh. Oh god, what's that? What's. I feel like that might have. been supposed to trigger like a, a, a cutscene and somehow we've glitched it out by accident. What can we do? Research checkpoint. Alright, um. Okay, I'm gonna try that then, because that's weird. Hopefully, it's just us putting the. Yeah, okay, not too bad. Now that we know what we're doing. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. If it does, uh, then I don't know what to do. Hey, I'm pretty sure that's not what's meant to happen. But at least now that we know what to do, this should take like a minute. Well, actually, because it's me, probably longer, but not too long. There we go, we've got the flow of things now. So, back on left, up on right, there. Alright, now you piss off. Now we pull that back. And I think that's the doorway at the top there, you can see. I think that's the doorway that we first used to get in this area, which is pretty cool. But you can see how much progress you've made. Now please work. And don't disappear on me. Okay. Uh... Okay, I might have to like redo this whole level again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... 
like Google it, see if this is like a, a glitch that happens, see if there's any fix for it. I might just have to um, quit out and restart it and just go from that checkpoint and hopefully that'll work. Uh, so, so until then, I guess I'll see you in a bit. And in fact, I've got editing, so actually, in a bit is right now. So here we are. Uh, I had to redo the entire mission. I went and looked on some uh, Google Steam forums, uh, and basically, it's known other people have it. Um, so what you had to do was restart the chapter. Now I did that. So hopefully, 12 minutes later, after going through the whole mission again, this time it works. If she disappears again, I don't know what I'm going to do, because I don't think I can be asked to redo that level again. So let's see, please. There we go, okay. Is that simple? <sighs> right. That's annoying that that still happens, but. Oh! It's a uh, mushroom man. So now either... Okay, this is kind of weird now, because that, that means that we've just been witness to a, a troll kidnapping case, which is quite disturbing, actually. Oh! Alright, ah! 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 so he's stupid. So we have to... Pull this, but to do that we have to distract him. I'm guessing with the little one, and basically do the typical uh, way that you always have to defeat Rhino, which is run him into the wall, and then you attack him. Whereas in this one, you can't attack him obviously. So what we're gonna have to do is we're just gonna have to stand there like a lemon as he runs at us. Holy moly, that was closer than it should have been. Okay, that's good, that's a good angle. Excellent. And just stand here again. Great. And then... Get it going. And fool. And now do we... Wonderful. Oh no, he's going. And there we go, teamwork. Oh! Death in the lava pit, it seemed. Okay, so what happened now? Ah! I like this mushroom guy. So I wonder if we're gonna stick with him or whether he's just like a little side helper fellow. And him and uh, Mrs. Mush walk off into the, the sunset. Actually, Barbara Streisand reminiscent is what I get from Mrs. Bishomaro, Mush. Bishomaya. So, we're out of the little wet caves or whatever. And off the brothers go into the wilderness. And I believe that'll be the end of chapter two, if uh, my logic is anything to go by. Look at these textures pop in, there you go. Die. Ooh. <coughs> so we had to redo that mission and basically spend, well basically half of what I took to do it in the first place to redo it for about two or so minutes of extra boss fight. But that was pretty cool, I did enjoy the uh, the troll thing, that was pretty cool. Other than the, him just mindlessly wandering at the chains himself, but I did like the bit where you had to pick his Things away from the rim. Oh, there's some walls. Don't. Oh, I thought he was going to put it out. 
So clearly the trick here is that the wolves are kept at bay by fire. And our fire will like run out at some point, I'm guessing. Okay, so that's it. That's uh, chapter two done, dusted. Next time joining me, we'll be doing chapter three. Actually, I'm quite enjoying how them shadows are bouncing around there. Uh, yeah, so join me next time for chapter three. Uh, where hopefully we won't have a stupid glitch that means I have to redo the mission. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for chapter three, where we face the wolves, or rather avoid the wolves. Same thing. All right, so thanks a lot, guys. Stay awesome. I'll see you guys next time. A lot of smoke on them fire effects. Wow, wow.